Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial we will show you how to work with display depth and active depth in a 3D file. The display depth is used to help view complex 3D designs. The active depth helps place elements at the correct elevation. These tools can be used for both architectural and civil drawings, but it is easier to demonstrate using an architectural example. Let's begin. I have my four views set up with different view rotations, top, isometric, right, and front. In the uh, top view, I'm going to set my display depth. What a display depth allows you to do is actually take a slice of your drawing in 3D. After selecting the icon, it's asking me to define the view I want to work with. And then if I move my cursor into the other views, you can see I'm going to be clicking the clipping planes. So I can work in view 1 or in view 3 here. And I can actually snap into an element. Say I want to just take a look at the second floor of this building and take a slice in view 2 then. So this is just a slice or display depth of view 2. If I hit fit view with extend clipping planes checked on, I get to see my whole drawing again. Now I can also do this just dynamically by picking two data points in another view and create another slice so you don't have to snap into something. The display depth also works in multiple views. So if I start in view 4, you can see how the clipping planes have changed now, so I'm working with the front view display depth. So I can select two points and just take a slice or a section of my building in a front view. Same thing with the right view. You can see how the clipping planes have changed, so now I'm looking from the right view, and I can select both a front and back clipping plane. And selecting the fit view with extents expand clipping planes checked on will um, get me back to a, a full fitted view. Next one I want to show you is uh, I'm just going to get this one more time. There we go. Next thing I want to show you is the display depth or show display depth. So by selecting the view it's actually going to show me the display depth of that particular view. So this is just telling me the numbers for the lower and upper clipping planes. Next icon I want to show you is set active depth. And this allows me to draw at a specific elevation in my design file. Again, selecting view 2 for the active view and then moving my cursor to the other views will allow me to set the active display depth of that view. Which that allows me to place lines or shapes it'll be placed at that same elevation that I selected in view 3. So this is how you draw at a specific elevation by setting your active depth in a view. If I want to see my active depth or show active depth, I select that icon and select the view in the message center down the center. It's going to tell me what the active depth is for view 2. Another way to do this is uh, by key ends and I can use a key in if I know the values, say I want to set my display depth to 5 and 15, and then all I have to do is select view 2 with a data point, left click, and now that's going to give me my display depth. I can also set my active depth, which is an AZ equals, and I can type in 12 here, and then select view 2. So now view 2's active depth is 12. One thing to remember is that the active depth has to fall between the display depth. So now you can see here I'm drawing a line at uh, elevation 12. If I want to query or find out what the display depth is at, I can do DP equal question mark, then select the view, and it's going to return in the message center that view 2 display depth is set to 5 and 15. Same thing with active depth key in. I can type in AZ equal question mark, then select view 2, and it's going to tell me that my view 2 active depth is set to 12. So I can do it by the key ends or I can use it using the icons in each view. Now what I'm doing is doing a tentative snap into points in my design file. So you can see in the message center every point that I snap into is returning a value in the message center of the active Z. If I miss and just do an tentative in black space out there, that's going to tell me the active depth of that view. So a tentative snap in space will give me the active view. Another way to set the active Z is using the ACS. And what I did there was I set the Z for my ACS to 20. 
So now when I draw a line, it's going to be placed at the active Z of 20. So I can use the ACS to do that too. Now, on occasion, when you actually snap into things, that may be at a different elevation. You can see I get a slant line. And what I want to do is make sure I draw a planar line. So what I want to turn on is my ACS plane snap. So now when I draw a line in, in the uh, view 2 and snap into other elements that might be at different elevations, I'm going to get the XY value but not the Z value from that snappable point. So it'll be a true planar line no matter what Z elevation I snap into. And this is new in Select Series 1 and 2. For more tips and tricks, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.